Entering into his seventh year as president of Dixie State University, Richard Biff Williams publicly thanked all those responsible for helping him achieve and surpass goals set in the last strategic plan during his State of the University address. He gave out numerous awards and gifts for their efforts. Videos highlighted accomplishments achieved over the last five years, including bringing in new degree programs and growing the university using innovation and inclusion. Uh, what was keeping students from staying here, what, we didn't have enough degree programs. Now that we have degree programs, they are coming and they're staying. That active learning, the model that we've looked at on our learning models, it, it's not just lecture, it's about learning, it's about having internships and externships. The students love that and our students coming to campus, they'll get to know their faculty and they'll have a mentor for life and I think that's what people are discovering and they're excited. The status to stature goal created momentum for the next master plan, trailblazing distinction. The new mission is an open, inclusive, comprehensive polytechnic university featuring active and applied learning so students can succeed in the future. So with this new strategic plan, it is very unique in that it will make us distinctive where there's only few technical and polytechnic type universities and then there's none that have the open access that have the inclusivity goals that we have and then the comprehensive and then looking at the tech programs. It's just a very unique model and we're really excited to launch that. Our faculty are behind this 100%. With enrollment continuing to climb to over 12,000 students, Dixie State University wants to position itself among 32 other polytechnic colleges nationwide in an area that needs to be served. We want to look at aviation. Uh, aviation with SkyWest here in our backyard. Uh, we're, before COVID, we're having a, a real difficult time finding pilots. We know hospitality management has been something that we've really been focusing on. And of course, the STEM areas, the business area, and the healthcare will continue. The change comes amid the COVID-19 pandemic that has challenged the nation to become more vigilant, fluid, and virtual when it comes to work, learning, and socializing. The switch to online learning is working. Going forward, we know that we can do remote learning very well. We know that if something happens, um, say an earthquake or another catastrophe, that we can continue to provide an education for our students. We also realize that um, we can have meetings where people are all over the world. And so looking at advisory committees and getting the advice of other experts, they don't have to be in St. George, Utah. They can be all over the world. And so we're starting to look at that and how important that will be. Dixie State University has integrated its growth into the region by responding to needs in other communities, such as Kanab in Kane County. Mutual partnerships and collaboration are what will bring even more growth in the future. However, diversity changes in the world have called into question the name Dixie State University. The administration is currently doing a perception study to measure the potential impacts of changing the name. However, the chairman of the board said no decisions have been made and there is no secret plan in the works despite what people might be saying on social media. And somehow in this rumor mill out here in the social media it's become that that is the big impact here that all of a sudden that's going to change the name. Make that clear. There is no secret plan in anything. We are not hiding anything. We think this institution has an absolutely bright future. We think there's a lot of energy that's taking place on this campus. We're going to continue to grow. And we'd love you not to buy it. We'd love to work with you and grow this institution. I think we're on the same page. At the end of the address, President Williams was presented with a portrait of himself, which was very humbling. From Dixie State University, Melissa Anderson, Community Education News.